everybody, this is Beastworm Gaming. Now, this is another account. This is, uh, Loco Engine. Now, this is a very, very, very specific account. As you can probably tell from my, uh, outfit, I got, uh, a very special Thomas the Train shirt and pants. I got a, um, gray mask on, and a hat that says Panic. I got some flames around me. Now, the flames are supposed to represent a, uh, locomotive, uh, engine flames. I don't really quite know if it kind of goes along with the outfit. But, um, the reason that I actually have this, it has to do with, when I do PvP, there is always an engine that I am always fighting, right? I can fight engines, I can do the one-on-ones, and... I think it's my turn again, but I don't want to get rid of any of my legendaries to go back to an engine, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to do an engine, I'm going to have fun with it, I don't know if I'm going to max it out to 220 because that's going to take a lot of grinding, so I'm just going to get it up to skill 5, I'm going to get it um, up to a decent amount. And take it into PvP and have some fun and do a video series on it because I'm seeing more and more people here with Engine because they're probably catching on to uh, to individuals saying, hey, if you can't get a legendary because people still want legendaries, why not get an Engine and play around with it? And I can kind of see uh, how they're using the skill set now. I'm starting to understand why when I go to PvP, I'm seeing a lot of um, rookies, I'm seeing a lot of lower, um, should I say tier, or should I say uh, rank individuals, and I think I figured it out, I think I figured it out. When I started this game, not only was I just lower rank, but, but, all the other individuals were really, 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 really high rank, and I felt very fortunate in that. I was on the ground floor, and I'm like, I gotta get high rank, and I gotta learn this game really fast. However, with the update, and it was a major update, uh, word probably got around, and individuals said, hey, this is pretty cool. Because it basically um, doubled in uh, the number of people joining, and of course, they were new. So, when you look at uh, any server basically you go to, the rank isn't going to be like all C rank or B rank or even uh, A rank, but you're not going to see like legendary. Right? Where, whereas before, you saw triple S and legendary players. And you saw 1v1s, and they were like some crazy 1v1s. I haven't seen a 1v1 like in a long time. Uh, people are going to PvP, and that's probably where the better players are going, and they're dominating. And it's kind of unfair, and it needs to be reworked. So anyway, the purpose of this whole thing is, I'm not trying to dominate the PvP. I'm trying to keep things interesting. I have a uh, OFA, which I'm still going to use quite a bit. I have a half cold, half uh, hot, uh, half hot, half cold uh, individual that I have learned a lot from. That's a support as well as a man character. So I'm going to learn a lot from that. And I have this individual that's a uh, fun individual. Local engine, crazy engine, right? And, uh, you know, I hope people remember him. He's a, uh, engine. And he's gonna do engine things. Basically, there's three moves. You got five to boost his uh, speed. You have four to do the spin. And you have three to jump up, to go down, do the smash, and to escape. Uh, people say, well, he's very difficult, you have to coordinate the speed. He's actually really not that difficult. Once you know how to get away, it's really not that hard. And to stat him, it's 
not that hard again. You get a lot of points, and here's a secret. Here's a secret. You put nothing in speed. You put nothing in strength. Since you want this individual to be in energy the entire time, right? And this is just for PvP. So if you're listening to this and you're saying, hey, uh, I want to do PvP with an engine, what you do is, since you want this individual to be in PvP, you put all your stats into energy and maybe about close to 200, maybe a little more than 200 into health because you can't get more than 500. Trust me, you can't get more than 500, maybe a little more than 500. I take that back. I believe there were times where I got like 515 or, or something like that into health. But if you think about it, if, if you're getting blasted, then, you're, then you need uh, more training with your um, uh, engine, right? Your, your engine is basically going around killing people. Your engine is your, uh, your sniper. Your engine is, if you're playing on team, your engine is the one to get the points to put your team in the lead. It's not to take a hit. You know, if there's someone that can freeze you, if you get hit, you've got to hope to get out of it. So that's why you want to keep it in a um, speed uh, category all the time. So that's basically it. That's why it's easy to stat point. You put everything into into um, uh, energy. In 250 seconds, I think like 90% of the time you're going to be there. And then you go all the way down to uh, 300 speed. It, seems like it's a huge disadvantage but you basically lost 800 but you're still three times faster than everybody else right and uh, you still can use uh, skill 3 and you can still use skill 4 so I mean a good engine player knows what to do anyway that's what I'm doing with this guy I'll keep you all updated I just got skill 4 and uh, see you guys uh, hopefully in the PvP. Bye.